Right, um, a bit of a CTD just now, but we've resolved that and we're currently on the downward leg for runway 08 right at Houston, George Bush International Airport. Um, I'm just going to set up the plane a bit better since I've kind of had to... There's one way to do it with Phoenix, essentially. Um, you have to restart the flight. You choose your waypoint where you want to restart. Uh, and somehow it'll always put you on the ground of Phoenix rather than at 37,000 feet which is also a problem with Microsoft there's absolutely no way you can actually set an altitude so when I want to start a flight from a decent waypoint it always puts me over at the end of the troposphere or it could put me on the ground with neither of which are very good when I want to start mid-flight um, especially if I had a crash to desktop in approach phase so I started on the ground, set up the plane with all the Phoenix stuff and then slewed it up to the right altitude uh, around 10,000 feet at that waypoint in the right direction uh, and then took it over from there, put the gear in and all of that. Just going to check the outside, we shouldn't have a ram air turbine, so uh, you know, sometimes that actually does come out. Um, so as I said, we're just in the downward deck now. Normally zero right is this one here. We've got eight left, eight right, nine and two seven underneath the cloud there, and three three left and right fives as well. So we're just holding at 6,000 now in the long downwind. We're going to set auto brake to low. Uh, speed, speed brakes are armed, uh, we're just going to use 140, no need to do 210 knots. So we'll just reduce that off now. We've got descent and final programmed here. 6,000 feet at this same waypoint. And then we'll be making a vector to approach so I'm actually going to start a descent of about a thousand feet per minute and give myself a bit to heading two nine zero degrees. Let's a bit closer. Okay. And that's gonna get us off the VDEV and all of that sort of thing. Um, but we're actually gonna go directly to Elpo. Is Maton. So we've got the chart here, we've got Elpo and Maton. So Elpo is 3000, Maton's 2000. If we could have taken a longer approach, we've got Lassie deployed. That's 26 miles final, we don't need that. Um, Elpo is around 9.4 miles, so that's perfect for a giant GLS approach. So it is a GBAS ground based augmentation system assisted RNAV approach. So basically, it's an RNAV approach of infinite accuracy. Um, these are being implemented around the world now as a kind of almost a replacement of ILS as eventually they will be implementable almost anywhere. Um, as I think I said in my Zurich video, there's no need to have multiple ILS stations. You can use one GBAS station and serve multiple runways. And all it does is it just basically gives the GPS timing signal um, constant updates. So there's no uh, loss of navigational accuracy which is kind of what you want really um, we want to have a nice accurate navigation system and we do it using this ground based kind of updater now in reality what will happen is I would do direct to Elpo um, and this should actually turn into two diamonds and it would say GLS in the corner um, and it would also say the GLS code which is uh, channel 20251 GIAH so when I do that direct to and engage the um, which I'm going to do is probably when I'm going to beam this point here when I do that direct to and engage approach mode it should do that so let's do that now direct to Elpo insert there we go so now we're back on we can click approach now we've got alt and final so you can see now we're a little bit low for the profile because we've got help at 3,000 or above and we're already at 3,4 with another 2 miles to go so we're about three or 400 feet too low. Okay, we're now inbound to Elpo fully and the final is set up say descent and then final stop us at 2.5 Houston traffic United 52.50 inbound uh, GLS approach runway 08 right 
There's no DME, so we use the ranges here. Um, I'm hoping when this switches over to final that we get something proper. Oh, there's seven and a half miles to go. The altitude straight is currently holding us at 2000, so we should just stop and descent there. We'll just check the um, approach data is still correct. 13 knots coming from the right hand side. The approach data then, so we've got uh, 100 at 3. So actually it looks like this hasn't been modeled properly yet by Phoenix. Um, as we don't actually have the diamonds appearing. If I do LS, does that help? Nope, that does not help. So it should be diamonds and a GLS identifier code. One okay, let's just do full flaps. Cat 3 is inoperative. Just that we've both got an engine now. We've got an ELAC or FAC not working. We're all working, so why is that not working? In Houston traffic, United 5250, short final, all zero eight, right? Um, yeah, so we can use GBAS, uh, we can't use it properly, uh, it doesn't actually perform the whole lot. Going manual because this plane is getting chucked around all over the place. 500. Fully visual, we're well above minimums and I'm happy with the approach. Got a little bit of wind shearing, um, just with gusty kind of uh, cutting away winds there. You can see me kind of correcting for those drops in altitude. 100 above. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Yeah, give me fifty over eight. Fifty. Forty. Twenty. Retard. Too much power on. Touchdown. Manual braking, and I'm going to break off to the right. Speed brake up, flaps up. Too much power on too late there, um, but I've had a problem recently where we've been dropping like a stone, so I've just thought I'd try another method there. We'll go ahead and taxi into the ramp over here.
Let's just taxi in. So you go, G bus is a bit disappointing, but it works. <laughs> 